Institutional RO Water Purifier, Kent Light 2. Step 1. Unpacking of the Purifier. Carefully place the water purifier packing box on the plain surface. Cut the packing strips fixed on the packing box with the help of knife. Cut the packing tape wrapped on all the four bottom sides of the packing box. Carefully take out the top cover of the packing box. Remove the polythene cover from the water purifier. Take out all the accessories from the packing box. Remove the thermocol packing. Place the water purifier on the plain surface. Remove the thermocol packing fixed at the lower side of the purifier. Items in the box Kent Elite 2 Mineral RO Water Purifier 1 3 Way Connector 1 SS Ball Valve 1 Food Grade White Pipe 3 by 8 Inches 3 Meters Food Grade Pipe 1 by 4 Inches White and Blue 3 meters each. Screws and plastic inserts. 2 each. Cooler fitting. 1. Instruction manual. 1. Drilling sticker. 1. Step 2. Setting up the water connection. Keep all the plumbing accessories and tools ready before turning off the main water supply line so that it gets interrupted for a minimum time. Turn off the main water supply line. Always install purifier on the normal water supply and not on the hot water supply. Take out the tap from water supply line carefully using a pipe wrench. This is a three-way connector with an external thread. Use a Teflon tape to create a leak-free joint. It should be wrapped tightly on a three-way connector in a clockwise direction only. Otherwise, it may loosen during tightening on water supply line. Cut off the excess tape. Insert external thread end of the three-way connector into the water supply line. Use Teflon tape on the tap to create a leak-free joint. Now, insert the tap into the hex end of the three-way connector and tighten it using pipe wrench. This is a SS ball valve. Use Teflon tape again on the SS ball valve thread to create a leak-free joint. Insert SS ball valve into 1 by 4 inches port of the three-way connector. Take the white pipe and broaden up its mouth from one end by inserting a screwdriver into it. Remove the hex nut present on the SS ball valve. Insert this hex nut in the white pipe from the non-broadened end. Push the broadened end of the white pipe onto the SS ball valve. Make sure that pipe completely slips over the nipple of the SS ball valve. Tighten securely the hex nut on the SS ball valve to lock the pipe in its place. The water supply remains off when the lever is perpendicular to the SS ball valve body. The water supply remains on when the lever is parallel to the SS ball valve body. Step 3 
making preparations to mount the purifier. Every purifier has a drilling sticker with measured markings. Check for the proper horizontal level, which should be a plain even surface. The drilling sticker should not be pasted inclined as water may overflow. Stick the drilling sticker in a proper horizontal straight line. Drill carefully two holes into the sticker markings using 8 mm drill bit. Drill holes to such a depth that the plastic inserts could go completely inside the hole. Push plastic inserts into the holes using a hammer. Insert two self-taping screws in both the holes using a screwdriver. Do not use hammer. Step 4 Installing the purifier Place the purifier on a flat surface. Cut the tie wires holding the UF membrane and RO membrane housing in place. These components are so tied as to save them from getting damaged or dislocated from their position during transportation. Hang the purifier on plain even surface. Remove dead plug from raw water inlet by pressing elbow collet with one hand and pulling dead plug with the other. Take white pipe with the end not fixed to SS ball valve. Measure its distance from water inlet of the water purifier and cut off the extra length. Fix the end not fixed to SS ball valve of white pipe into water inlet of water purifier. Remove dead plug from the flow restrictor tube outlet by pressing the elbow collet with one hand and pulling dead plug with the other. Fix one end of the blue pipe into the flow restrictor outlet of water purifier. Push pipe into elbow to avoid any leakage. Put the other end of the blue pipe in the drain. Clamp both white and blue pipes on the flat surface. Make sure that the rejected water pipe is not placed at a level higher than the purifier. Otherwise, the rejected water may flow backward into the purifier. Avoid sharp bends in the pipe fittings. Do not bend or block the rejected water pipe. Remove dead plug from the high pressure switch outlet. Connect the white pipe to the outlet of HPS. Insert the power plug into the three pin socket. Turn on the water supply with the help of SS ball valve lever. The water supply remains off when the lever is perpendicular to the SS ball wall body. The water supply remains on when the lever is parallel to the SS ball wall body. Wait for 2-3 to three minutes after turning on the water supply to the pre-soak the filters. Unlock all the filter housing one by one to remove the air gaps from the filters. Lock the filter housing once the air gap is removed. Air gap can be removed by pressing the red switch mounted on the filter housing. Switch on the electric supply. The purifier will start operating. Drain some water from the purifier's output before connecting it to the water cooler as water is not fit for drinking. Check and rectify leakage in the purifier, if any. Switch off the purifier. Insert union connector 1 by 4 inches on the white pipe end not connected to the HPS. Wrap Teflon tape on water inlet of the water cooler. This is cooler fitting. Fix the cooler fitting on the water cooler inlet. 
Titan Union connector to water cooler fitting. Switch on the purifier. Let the purifier operate till the water cooler fills up and the purifier shuts off automatically. This shows whether the HPS is working properly or not. Switch off the purifier. Completely drain the water from the water cooler and throw away the water because first few liters of water purified by the RO membrane may not be fit for drinking. Recheck the TDS level of raw water supply. Switch on the purifier. Take out the white pipe from the water cooler. Check TDS of purified water coming out from the purifier output. Switch off the machine. The purified water TDS level should reduce by approximately 90% of raw water TDS and should not be less than 50 ppm. The recommended TDS level is 55 to 75 ppm. However, it can be adjusted to the customer's choice or raw water TDS. Step 5 Adjusting TDS level Switch on the purifier. To adjust the TDS level, unscrew the locking nut first. To increase the TDS of the purified water, slightly turn the adjustment knob anti-clockwise. To decrease the TDS of the purified water, slightly turn the adjustment knob clockwise. After adjustment of TDS level, screw the locking nut. The adjustment takes roughly 3 to 4 minutes to reflect in the purified water. So wait before checking the TDS of the purified water. Switch off the purifier. Refix the union connector to the water cooler. Recheck the overall functioning of the purifier and also any leakage, sound, etc. Before leaving, clean the stains on the purifier with a moist cloth and mild soap or detergent. Installation is now complete.